makeup tutorial for the first time in an entire month, which is so weird to me that I have not filmed a makeup tutorial in a month. So anyways, I figured that I would go ahead and start off these makeup tutorials with a fun purple and glittery smoky eye. Something, okay, I'm sorry, I have like hairs all over my face. It's something outside of the box from just basic neutral and everyday looks. So this is definitely not something that's gonna be made for everybody and it's definitely not something that you're gonna wear to lunch with grandma. But this is definitely a going out look, something fun, something different. I always love using this technique. It just makes your eyes pop, makes them look nice and round and bring lots of attention in a positive way. Um, I did ask you guys on Twitter about my new background, if you would prefer to see home decor or if you would prefer to see like bookshelves with makeup related or beauty related items. So at this moment, as you can see, it is home decor. It might change in a couple of weeks. Let me know your thoughts down below on my background. My home is finally starting to come together. So that's why I'm finally able to sit down and film a makeup tutorial. Before this moment, it was just like a disaster. Anyways, I'm going to... Stop talking and let you guys get to the tutorial. I will see you in the next few days with another makeup tutorial. So I hope you enjoy. I love you so much and I'll talk to you soon. First shade I'm going to grab is Wisteria, and this is an eyeshadow by Makeup Geek. I'm going to take it on a Sigma E25, which is just a little white blending brush, and I'm going to concentrate this on my crease, going back and forth all the way from inner and outer corner. This is the perfect transition color for working with purples. It can be kind of tricky to work with purples when you're blending outward, but this eyeshadow makes it so simple. Then going in with an E40, which is just a bigger version and a little bit fluffier, we're just going to blend all of that out so that we don't have any harsh edges as always. Just make sure that you really take your time and build baby steps because working with purple is not like working with neutrals. Then we're going to go in with MAC Nocturnal. This is a really deep color that's similar to Wisteria but just much deeper. And then we're going to concentrate this on the inner and the outer corner but we're going to leave the ball of the eye in the very center of the lid blank. So as you can see I am really going to town on that inner corner making sure that we get some pigment in there and then just like a rainbow motion we're just going to carve it out and go up into that crease and then using a brush that's clean with no pigment on it we're just going to buff that out again. Working with purples you just got to constantly be blending 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 because you don't want any harsh lines especially when you're working with bright colors because then all of a sudden you'll start looking like a clown or like you came straight from the 80s, which sadly isn't the style anymore. Anyways, we're just going to keep packing this on this exact same way that I was just talking about before, leaving the center of that eyelid blank. Then we're going to go in with MAC Sketch. This is a very popular shade, at least it used to be, and it's so beautiful. It's this gorgeous wine color, and we're going to go in with an E40 brush. This is just a really dense, precise blending brush, and I'm going to pack that on that outer corner and really sculpt out that crease, as you can see. I'm also going to put this on my inner corner as well, but I'm going to focus it on the outer corner. That's where I want the most depth to be. As you can see though, I am going in the inner corner and just like with the other shade Nocturnal, we're just going to carve out that eyelid and then of course go back, lightly blend, 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 blend. Then we're going to go in with MAC Cosmetics Pressed Pigment in the shade Moth. We're going to pick this up on our fingertips because that's actually the suggested way to use pressed pigments. There is no primer on your eyelids necessary when working with these pressed pigments. I did prime my eyes since we're working with other shadows, but if you're working alone with these, you don't need a primer, which is kind of cool, even though I always prime. Anyways, we're focusing this color on the center of our lid, but as you can see, it's going to get other places, and that's okay because we're going to make it a little bit more precise going in with another brush, spraying it with some Fix Plus from MAC, and then dabbing that right on the ball of the lid just to make it shinier, more metallic, and stand out even more so. Bam. Ah, eyeliner done. You guys have seen me do eyeliner one too many times, so I figured I would just spare you and move forward. So I'm just taking these Pond's wipes from the drugstore. I'm just going to clean up my under eye area so that I don't have any purple mixed into my foundation and my concealer, and it'll just help clean that up and make the liner look more precise. Then I'm going in with mascara, just going to prime for the lashes. These, of course, are Velour Mink Lashes. My absolute favorite lashes of time are mink lashes. There is a discount code. I'll list it in the description bar below. But these are the Girl You're Crazy style. Then I'm using the Hourglass Veil Fluid Makeup. This is a really nice medium coverage, very luminous glow, very, very pretty foundation. It does have an SPF in it, which is nice for daytime use, especially once we enter the summertime, but I'm so dry in these winter months, I'm using it right now because I need all the moisture I can get. Then I'm going in with MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW20, and then I'm using an F86 brush from Con F86 brush from Sigma from concealer to blend this out. It's not even a concealer brush, I don't believe, but it is the bomb.com for concealer. 
Then using MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter and Light Boost, I'm going to just put this on the highlights of my face and then blend it out. I have talked about how I highlight in a few of my videos and I will link that down below. Then of course, to set my under eye concealer, I'm gonna use MAC Pro Highlighting Powder in the shade Emphasize. What's new? I have been addicted to this bad boy forever, but let me just say that there is no other powder to set your concealer that is going to look as beautiful and gorgeously highlighted and be as smooth as this one. It's a very underrated product, but I suggest it to everybody in my life. It is the best, amazing. Anyways, now we're gonna go in with the Bare Minerals Original Foundation, and I'm just going to stipple this on the center of my face just to set that foundation, and that's it. Then I'm using this Brow Bar To Go, which I just got, and I'm only using the wax just to set my brows, and then moving on, which I have loved so far. Anyways, I filled in my eyebrows, but I didn't wanna show you that whole ordeal. I have an eyebrow video, I'll link it down below. Then I'm using MAC Cosmetics Shroom. It's important to use a really neutral highlight in this. You don't want anything too yellow or too warm, and Shroom is the perfect highlight of life, so boom. Then I'm using Makeup Forever. This is the matte bronzer in shade 20. Then using the NARS Eda Brush, I am just going to gently and lightly contour the face. Nothing too intense. We don't wanna really, really sculpt out the face since we have so much happening on the eyes. The rest of the face can be kind of blended and neutralized. Then I'm going in with NARS Blush in the shade Love. This is from their newer collection, and I got this at Nordstrom. And I'm just going to put this on the apples of my cheeks and lightly blend backward. It's gorgeous for these eyes because it's a pink, but it's not too corally or too pink. And we don't want too pink or too corally. Okay, wow. It's like Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. Moving on. I am using the Laura Mercier highlighter in shade 01 with a Sigma tapered highlighter brush and just dabbing that on the cheeks for some more highlight. The chin. Cupid's bow, and then of course on the nose, just those highlighted areas to bring that glow. Then I'm gonna go back in with Nocturnal from before on just a more precise brush and just push that densely into my lower lash line. And then after that, I'm going to go back in with Wisteria again from Makeup Geek on a pencil brush and just blend, 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 blend back and forth. This lower lash line will really, really complete these eyes. Before, as you could see, it was not complete whatsoever and that just these extra steps will really pull it all together and make it look like a completed look it'll make that liner stand out that wing that we did and then we'll highlight the inner corner again using mac shroom and this sigma concealer brush i will list that all down below and then taking a little bit more of that glitter on this mac 252 brush and just stippling that on the lower lash line just to bring that glitter down makes it a little bit more fun a little bit more pop you could even apply some purple eyeliner in your waterline to make this even more fun. Then I'm going in with NARS Chelsea Girls, and that is going to complete my look. It's not too peachy or too pink. Again, compliments the eyes. I hope you guys enjoy. I love you so much, and I will see you in the next few days. Bye. I am on point today. Like, honestly, I'm not even going to have any bloopers. I am just like on like Donkey Kong.